Hello everybody, it's um, been a while since I posted a, uh, a video because uh, I managed to break yet another camera. This is my third version of the uh, of this camera so try and see if I can't break this one as well. What I'm doing here is I'm doing some plates. I've been uh, mixing iron in the form of uh, Crocus Martis with the body, but it takes forever to wedge it in. So what I've decided to do is to throw it in, throw it in just normal crank and. Um, Use a, a slip to give me my um, surface colour. I'm just going to do a plate, a uh, plate sort of a bowl, a shallow bowl. The exhibition that I had um, recently with. Um, the showcase lucky enough to put my work in with Jim Malone's parts um, they were fantastic I was lucky enough to meet him it's nice when you get to meet your uh, heroes this is just a simple dish I'm throwing it quite thick because I want quite a chunky rim on the bottom of it. And uh, I'm going to fire these upside down on shells. Get a nice design on the, the nice uh, effect on the centre of it. So it needs quite a chunky rim, I think. Shouldn't do plates with mean rims. I'm just concentrating on the inside profile now. Some people have a lot of problems and difficulty throwing plates. I never have, I've always found it to be one of the easiest things to do. My main problem is doing bottles with necks when I get them wrong. But we can't all be good at everything, can we? I'll smooth off the inside of this now. Slip. This is just the body, just crank body out this out of the uh, the slip bucket, slot bucket. And I'll put it through an 80 sieve just to give it a bit of uh, make it nice and even. Put some crocus martis in it. And uh, I'm just going to brush this slip onto it. It's going to have a chino glaze over the top of it. And this iron will show through, hopefully. I shall put slip on the outside of it when I've turned the outside and the base. Another reason for throwing it quite chunky, you can always turn it away, but also I don't have any bats that that's flat enough to use on this wheel anymore, they've all warped. So uh, I plan on lifting it off. Undercut it. 
noise in the background you might be able to hear is a moth desperately trying to get out the window. Quite a light there, it's left a, when I've lifted the brush off, it's left a, uh, an effect on it, so quite like that slip effect, so I'll just put another couple on. <laughs> right, I'll make an attempt to cut this off now, lift it off. Put a little bit of water on the wheel head to get underneath the drag it through and lift it up and there we have it one plate I'll just do you another one this is fairly stiff clay it's a, a pot that I had collapsed on the other day and I've just put it on a bat plaster bat and uh, dried it out a little bit it's gone a bit, uh, a bit hard, so it looks a bit lumpy to me. And there's an air bubble in it. Center nice and thick, or well, the base nice and thick, so I can turn a nice foot ring out of it. Oops. Doing very well with this, aren't it? It's an air bubble in it there. Let's cure it. No, it's got rid of it. Beginners, when they turn, I've just dug my thumb in there by mistake when I'm talking. And beginners tend to panic, but there's always an answer to, to the problem. Make sure the base is compressed. rim on it. Press it. For those of you at this point who are worrying about the moth that's fluttering against that's flapping against the window. I will uh, rescue it once I've got my hands dry. <laughs> Splash of white um, slip on there, just get rid of it. Best not to be too precious about anything, I don't think. Lift 
되는구나 so there we have them two simple plates I'm um, endeavouring not to get my clay fingers all over this nice new camera and uh, I'll show you the turning of the bases of these and the finishing off next video okay